I'm here at a village called Awawaso in the upper Manya Kwaba district of the eastern region to meet a family who remain unbroken. Yes, I'm here. Catch him again. Emmanuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm here. Catch okay. Godfred. Okay. Yes, I'm here. Catch him okay. Ruth. Okay. Hey. Okay, yes, I'm here. Kachamoke. Okay. Uh, Esther. 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 <laughs> Esther is not in the mood today. Ruth, Emmanuel, Godfrey, and Esther are part of four members of the Tay family with a rare disease. Other members of the family. Father Richard Tay, Mother Ruth Na, and their three other children do not have the rare disease. It is said that these children are cursed. I am still with my wife because what has happened is not her fault. Sometimes I just want to leave and abandon my family. Sometimes we don't even have money for food. We also don't have clothes for the kids as well. We lack a lot for their general upkeep. Mocked by society, the four members of the same family are not allowed to access education due to their condition. They are also unable to access health care effectively. So they are made to do all the chores in the house in spite of their condition. According to the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, children with disabilities often have their rights denied. This includes education, adequate nutrition, and social protection. For 15-year-old Ruth, she wants to be educated but wonders if this is possible due to being at home all her life. I am called a snail and a tortoise. When I see my colleagues going to school, I am sad. I wish I was in school. While observing them, I realized they had similar symptoms like that of a story I covered a few years ago, the story of Ayeyi Yadombuache. I am the girl who has osteogenesis imperfecta, which means my bones are soft. It can break easily. According to the Genetic and Rare Diseases Information Center, a rare disease is defined as a disease or condition that affects fewer than 200,000 people. The executive director of the Rare Disease Ghana Initiative, upon watching the video, said, This is obviously some kind of a rare disease, but would require diagnosis. Like most rare diseases, the cause is usually genetic. That is why there are more than one member of the family affected. The current system are not to meet and address the needs of families living with rare diseases. For the Thai family, they are tired of their children being mocked tired of seeing their children crawl through muddy waters when it rains just to access the lavatory and tired of being treated as second-class citizens there's currently just one wheelchair for the children to use that is not in good shape crawling on a on the bare sand every day day in and out and people also see them in a different way uh, some give them, they call them other names that are not supposed to be used for human beings. We associate ourselves with them so that people see them with us. Then they sometimes, some of them, because of that, they come closer to them. Otherwise, people sometimes, when they see them coming, they even start running. So we talk to them that uh, disability is not inability. We came around and then I saw them. So I saw them, I felt, I felt very bad. People like this, they find it difficult to, to do several things. Getting money is very difficult for them. So if the community, the general public can come to their aid to help them to be able to go to school and then be something one day so that they wouldn't be burden on the community and then the family. Sometimes the environment you grow in 
determines whether you will succeed. For the Tay family, they are surviving instead of thriving. TV3 will follow up with the family to get accurate diagnosis of their condition and to ensure they thrive. Porsche Gabo, TV3 News, Awoso, Eastern Region.